Hey Pisces, welcome to Transform Through Storm Tarot. It's your girl Storm and this is your week ahead reading for the week beginning with January 31st. If you are a returning visitor and or subscriber, welcome back. And if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you could please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel, that would be great. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's up, Pisces? Pisces! Let's see. What, what's going to be the overall energy for Pisces going into the week ahead? Letting go, okay? And, and receiving stability, okay? Receiving balance. Uh, restore balance right from the divine from the universe okay so letting go uh having success um and, and, and letting go okay so allow the wisdom to remain though okay remember that okay allow the wisdom to remain so keep everything that you learn from the situation but going into the week you are definitely letting go so what should the pisces know during the week what should pisces know during the week the week ahead, January 31st, courage, right? Have the courage, right, to, to end this cycle, to break this cycle, okay? Have the courage to, to get off that wheel, right, to let go, to, to yes, to keep the wisdom, but to jump off, be brave, right? And, and, and your courage um, is going to return, right? So your courage is returning, okay? What else does Pisces need to know during the week, during the week? Okay, trust and beauty. Okay, so trust in your beauty again. Wow, this is amazing. So trust in your beauty. Okay, your beauty. You've been holding back. You you've been um yeah you've been holding back your trust. Okay, thirty one. It breaks down to a four, right? Beauty again it is here with a four. So spirit is saying, have the courage to end this cycle, right? To let go. This is the eight four and four is eight. Okay, so this this is uh. 88 on the board so yeah you're definitely ending a karmic cycle you're, you're ending some things that that you know you you just been kind of repeating over and over um in your life so so spirit is saying yes let go because this is this is definitely going to uh bring you abundance self-abundance okay um see your beauty okay know that you have a form which is divine okay you are divine trust okay trust and, and have faith know that that um you, you can still trust in love right and, and know that you are secure i am secure i am safe i have a form which is divine okay so, what is going to be the ending energy for the week for Pisces? Ending energy, okay? Yeah, divine guidance. We just said that, right? Divine guidance and imagination, okay? So, yeah, you'll definitely be changing how you view things. You'll be changing how you manifest. You'll be changing, you know, all the things that you, you, you think about, right? That you just fixate on, right? You, you'll be changing the things that you daydream about, right? You'll be allowing your your imagination to create your reality, right? You'll be divinely guided to, to, to start manifesting. Yes, you're going to be divinely guided to start manifesting as long as you let go. As long as you let go. Imagination now sets me free. <laughs> Divine ones, I send my thanks to thee. So make sure that you're definitely thanking your angels and, and your archangels and your um, ascended masters and your ancestors because they're definitely going to be guiding this change in you, okay? You're just now beginning to ascend. You're just now beginning to wake up to your spirituality, okay? So so spirit is saying that's amazing. And so now you're, 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 you're realizing that whatever, it is that you imagine you're creating so 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 you're realizing and you're starting to to wake up to manifestation you're starting to wake up to to manifesting oh wow yes and it all has to do with love and, and, and that's self-love 
That's self-love. You loved yourself enough to, to do what? Let go. Restore balance within yourself. Self-love, right? Aphrodite, I call to thee to bring a true love here to me. And guess what? It's coming. As long as you trust in yourself, trust in your beauty, know that your beauty is passion, know that your beauty is divine, know that you have the courage and the strength to get out of this cycle, to break this cycle. Okay, Pisces, I see you leveling up in your spirituality, okay? Amazing, amazing, ascending, yes, ascending. Taking the first step towards your spiritual journey. Amazing. Letting go. Why is letting go here for Pisces? This is definitely a spiritual reading. Why is letting go a spiritual week? Yes, this, today is the full moon, so you should definitely be writing these intentions down today, um, burning these uh, things that you want to let go of, write them down on a piece of paper and burn it. Set your intentions to release these things from your life and, and know that they will be gone and speak it as it is, right? Archangel Raphael, yes, letting go. Call on Archangel Raphael because he's here to help you heal and mind body, and spirit. Yes, it's time for you to let go, allow the wisdom to remain, and heal. Heal. Heal your mind, your body, and your spirit. Yes, yes. And see, a lot of people forget about that spirit. They don't, they don't know what spiritual healing is, but spiritual healing is chakra healing. It, 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 it's getting those chakras in alignment. That, that's your checkup for your spirit, for your soul, okay? Courage, light of hope, okay? Everything is lining up and aligning for you, okay? Continue to have that light of hope, okay? Courage says by shining brave and true and bright, okay? What does the light do? A light shines bright, okay? Hope. Hope gives us positive energy and feelings to accomplish what we desire. It's time for you to accomplish your goals. It's time for you to break this cycle. You have the courage to break a cycle here. What is trust? Why is trust here? Why is trust? You're restoring your self-trust. You're starting to trust in yourself. You're starting to trust in your own beauty. Wisdom, yes, you're trusting in the wisdom that you're the divine guidance, right? Pursue knowledge and spiritual growth. That's exactly what you're doing. That's exactly what you're trusting in. You're trusting in the divine. You're trusting in the divine. Something woke you up. Something sparked. Yes, yes. You are safe. You are secure in love. You trust. Your faith endures, okay? Continue to seek that that angel of wisdom, call on that angel of wisdom, pursue knowledge and spiritual growth. I'm proud of you, Pisces. I'm proud of you. Welcome. Welcome to the journey. Welcome to the journey. Okay, beauty. Beauty is here because guess what? You, you maintain your values. You have faith. You trust it in your values, right? Your faith endures, right? So now we seeing that your faith endures, right? You have value. Your beauty. You, you, you know your true worth. You know your beauty, right? You know, you know exactly who you are. So, so spirit is saying because your values are guiding principles, you use them to choose the way you wanted to you to, to to live your life. And because you did that, the best is yet to be. <laughs> the best is yet to be. Because guess what you finna start doing? You finna be divinely guided to start manifesting. And you know what happened when you start manifesting? You receive what you want. We bought it. But we're gonna pull a card so I can let you know. So Spirit is saying good things have happened, but even better things, baby, will be presented in the future because you're getting ready to learn how to manifest. You're getting ready to, to be divinely guided. Yes, it's gonna it's gonna require patience. So, so I want you to know that now. Manifesting for some people, uh, I mean, yeah, some people can just say they, they it, it popped up overnight. Some things do pop up overnight. But Spirit is saying it, it, you're, it's going to require your patience, okay? So, so know that this journey is it, it, a patient. It's about patience and it's about 
honesty and truth of yourself. Okay, but spirit is definitely saying um, that it's time for you to take action towards your destiny. And, and so that's what you're getting ready to start manifesting. Right. That's what you're getting ready to start manifesting, because we, we saw that we saw that. Um, yeah, presented it that uh, good things are coming for you. Okay. Okay, the, to to light a hope, have that hope to, to accomplish the things that you desire, right? So now it's time for you to, to take this leap of faith towards your destiny um, and, and, and enjoy yourself. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate the fact that you have ascended. Celebrate the fact that you are, are, are on a, a, a new path. You are on the divine path. You are on your right path. Celebrate that. Spirit is saying, go out, celebrate, play, have fun, okay? And, and know that, see, your angel warriors are here, honey. They are here for you. Your angels are here for you. Your angels are overseeing your life and protecting you. Yes, they are. Yes, know that, know that. This was a spiritual reading. Yes, for you and... um. Surrender your battles because you're surrendering your battles. You, you're realizing that you don't have to carry this burden. <laughs> you're realizing that, that there is a, a, a higher being that is willing to, to, to take on this battle for you. The angels are asking you to hold your peace. Keep that hope. Hold that peace. Keep the hope so that you can shine bright. So that you can shine bright. So that you can shine bright. But know that everything that you need, everything that you desire is going to come in divine timing. That is what this journey is all about. Receiving things and when you need them. When you need them. So so know that's where that patience is going to kick in. Because you might want something and, and think you finna just try to manifest 5000 10000 50000 You know what I'm saying? Think it's just going to pop up in your in your account. But it don't work like that. It, it takes patience and it takes hard work. It takes hard work. It takes you changing your, your work ethic. It, it, it takes a lot of work. You have to put the work in. You have to put the work in. They need to see that you're, you're, you're really um, willing and ready to make this change for yourself. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let's see. Yes. It's because you surrendered. You surrendered. Now you you you're you're ready. It's time for you now to to surrender and go ahead and and begin the healing process. Archangel Raphael to heal mind, body, and spirit. Yes, whole body, mind, body, and spirit. It's time. It's time. It's time. You're being called. Look, look, bottom of the deck. You're being called. If you haven't been meditating, guess what? You're getting ready to start. You're getting ready to start. You're being called. You're being called. Yep. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody is, is divinely guiding and orchestrating your life. This is the divine putting the pieces of the puzzle to, of your life together. This, this is somebody working on your behalf. Okay, somebody, this is the mastermind behind your life. But there's some things that, that you're going to have to work on. And it looks like it might be your mouth. It looks like it might be your mouth. And, and, and see, what it is, is, is why is your mouth the way it is? Why do you talk to people the way you talk to people? Because guess what? It, it, it stems deep. It goes deep. That's a deep, deep well. Um, and, and so spirit is saying, that's that's... You got some deep, deep, look, you see how deep it is, look, you see, that's some, woo, that's a void, that's, that's some stuff you've been avoiding, but spirit is saying all that shit finna come to light, all that shit is finna come to what, to light, surrender it, let it go, let the light of hope, woo, baby, baby, that's y'all reading, that's y'all reading, divine timing, you see it? Divine timing, you gotta heal. You gotta heal. Just know it's coming in divine timing. So, so that's your reading, Pisces. Love and light.